Hi, I'm Neil from uh, Majestic Wine in Ashbourne. And I'm Andrew from Majestic Wine in Leicester. And today we're going to be doing some food and wine matching. We're going to start with charcuterie. Okay, we're going to start with Parma Ham, and I've chosen the Gruner Veltliner from uh, Domaine Waco. It's a food friendly wine, um, it's Austria's main uh, grape variety, so it's of a taste. Okay, so Parma Ham is quite light, um, light body but quite full flavoured dish, mm -hmm. and I think this is what you're getting with the wine as well. Mm. Very crisp, fruit flavours, not too overpowering either. No, not at all, and it really takes away the salt. I think from the, the Parma ham. I mean, the thing I like about this, you know, something a bit different, something unusual, something that you may not have had before. Yeah, you wouldn't necessarily pick Austria. Exactly, uh, yeah. and for that reason, I've picked the Gruner Veltliner from Domain Waco as the perfect choice. Okay, for our second uh, wine match with charcuterie, we've gone for a Pinot Noir from New Zealand, and we're matching that with good old traditional Melton Mowbray pork pie. It's a very light style red wine. Um, I think it's gonna be absolutely spot on, so let's crack into this. Let's try it with some food. Mm. Very well balanced. Just enough acidity just to group everything together there. A European peanut moment might get lost in the flavour, but this is. Yeah, yeah, you've got a sort of confected jamminess to it. Mm. You know, you'd normally think white wine with pork, but mm. this, this works. It's really fruity, isn't it? It certainly is, yeah, a real intense strawberry to that. I'm really happy with that. It's a Tatera Pinot Noir from Martinborough in uh, New Zealand, and an excellent match with pork pie. Okay, the third uh, food match we're going to look at today is the Humbrecht Riesling from Alsace. Um, and we're going to match it with some salami. It's a very old producer, they've been making wine since the 1600s. And uh, it's a first for me, so I'm really looking forward to try it. Let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. mm, nice. Lovely pale. Mm. Very, very green. That is really nice. It's a slight bit of sugar you want. So let's try with a bit of salami and see if, uh, see if it works. It's most salami, it's quite light, light, light bodied meat. Perfect with the, the Riesling there. A uh, bit of sugar just to cut through that salt. It certainly does, yeah, straight through the salt. Um, also, if there's any spice in the salami, it's nice and off dry, you've got a real floral nature to it. Exactly, well, that's it, it's really floral, isn't it? Bring the flavours out, yeah. What you're getting with this wine, you're getting that perfect bit of residual sugar just at the end, just to complement the saltiness of the salami. And that's why I've made the Humbrecht Riesling the perfect wine match to salami. Mm. 